All right. In this second video, we're going to look at, we're going to go to data and statistics. So we looked at publications in the first video. Now, in this video, I'm going to go to the Access Census Data Query tool. So I just click on that arrow. So this tool is based on the 2017 Census of Agriculture. You can pick also uh, look at the 2012 Census of Agricultural following uh, the same steps. And so it, it, the default is the U.S., the entire country, and it just gives more information than you'd ever possibly need. So how many total number of farms, you know, over 2 million. How many of those farms are 1 to 9.9 .9 acres, mostly hobby farms, I would suspect, but who knows for sure. Uh, really big farms, how many are... Farms are over 2,000 acres, over 85,000. And it gives us a, a value, of the asset value of the ag land, including the buildings. Acres of cropland in the entire country. And then it breaks things down by uh, farm size based on sales as opposed to based on acres and then it goes through all the major commodities so what you could do if you want to do uh, focus on a particular state you could click state And then you could pick, for instance, market value of agricultural products sold. And then pick, if you wanted Pennsylvania. And you could leave that blank, update grid. And you would get the results uh, for the state of Pennsylvania. You know, so this would be the number of uh, operations with sales, and then they break it down by all the different commodities. Look at uh, different uh, sales measured in dollars, because that's the one I chose. We could also uh, look at net cash farm income from operations don't forget to hit update grid so this would be telling us the net farm income measured in dollars for the state of Pennsylvania basically 2.2 billion look at harvested crop la uh, land, sorry, by size of farm and acres harvested. So this one breaks the different farm sizes. Uh, so area operated versus area harvested just gives you a more detailed view. County summary highlights. So we could pick a state and then pick a county. Let's go uh, Adams County. Got to remember to hit update grid. Tell you the total number of operations in Adams County. Again, breaking everything down by the different commodities. So say we're uh, in Adams County and we got our county summary highlights. 
we can export this data. That's what this button does. CSV stands for comma separated values. I'll show you what that means in a second. So this is going to open up It looks like an Excel file, uh, but notice it's a .csv file. So if you want to do, make sure uh, that you wanted to use a spreadsheet, if that's what you want to do, be sure and save the file, not as a CS, CSV file, but as a Excel file, or if you're using the Google version, whatever. So now you have all the data and do, do whatever comparisons you want to do. So I'm not sure. Let's find out. If we want a more detailed look, Pennsylvania, Adams, market value of agricultural products sold, update grid. I don't think it's really telling us much more than the other report did, but you get the idea. And of course, you can do uh, go back and also look at the 2012 census if you want to. So that's the basics of using the USDA query tool.